Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? I want to show you something that is really cool. It is an XL model, but you can render it at a 1.5 resolution and by that save time and resources. Let's have a look at that. So this is called the Fenris XL model. It's trained by someone from my community and this promises that you can render it with good quality in lower resolutions. It's mainly trained on realistic style, but as you can see here, you can do all kinds of different stuff with with that experiment in a wide range. Now, again, I want to suggest to you to scroll down here, look at these kind of different suggestions here. There's a lot of writing here about, for example, the CFG scale and the steps you want to use for the different versions that are here. So there's a lot of notes about the different versions. And of course, also, as always, you want to click on the image and then you want to check here on the right side, the different prompts that are used, the sample method, the steps, the CFG scale, and so on and so on. Now, here's something that I think figured out for you. So I have the Fenris XL model loaded inside of Automatic 11.11. I have the prompt and the negative prompt suggested on the Fenris XL page. I have turned off my high-res fix for now and set my resolution to 512 by 768. So this is an SD 1.5 resolution allowing me to render faster. Now in this first run through, what I'm doing is I set my batch count to 10. You can set it to whatever you want and I just render test images here on the right side. When I find an image, I use the seed down here. I set my batch count back to one. I turn on the high res fix and I upscale it by two. You can experiment with different upscale models if you want to. In this case, I also have my clip skip on two, which seems to work good with this model, but you can also render it with clip skip one. Now here comes the cool hack that I want to show you. Pay attention to this. So because I'm using a high res fix, it goes from 512 by 768 to 1024 by 1536. And that already gives me a pretty cool image, as you can see here. Very nice, pretty cool details. However, I want to have more quality than that. So what I'm doing is down here, I'm sending this to image to image. Now in image to image, first of all, I'm removing the image information from my prompt and only leave the style information. In that case, that is detailed photo, detailed, realistic, 8K, UHD, high quality, but no information about the old man with the pump gun. Now when I'm scrolling down here, I'm halving my sampling steps to save some time. And then I also scroll down here to the script and turn on the SD upscaler. You might also use the ultimate SD upscaler extension if you want to. Again, down here, you can use any kind of upscaler model you want to. I'm using 8x NMKD super scale model here and I scale up by a factor of two. So this again is getting two times bigger on each side. So basically four times the resolution. Now this is the kind of image and quality I'm getting from that. And I think that we can agree that that is already pretty amazing. But of course, this wouldn't be my channel if I wouldn't have another trick up my sleeve. So check this out. Instead of using the Fenris XL model for upscaling, I'm switching the model over to the Dream Shaper 8 model, which is a SD 1.5 model. And then in a second upscaling, I'm doing a second version. I'm instead using the realistic vision model for that. Now, again, for a comparison here, is the Fenris XL upscale and it looks pretty cool, kind of nice, but here is the Dream Shaper 8 upscale. This is a SD 1.5 model. Look at these beautiful details in the hair on the face, but also when we scroll down on the clothing, on the gun and on the hands pretty amazing. And here, my friends, we have the realistic vision upscale. Now, this is amazing for the reason that this doesn't look super realistic. The reason for that is I'm using a very low denoise value of only 0.1. So it sticks to the original style, but it adds a lot of beautiful details here to the image, to the beard hair. Very, very nice. Now, when we scroll down here, look at the skin and the details on the hand, on the fingernails everything but also here on the gun on the metal 
everything here looks just very, very amazing. And so with all of these tricks combined, you can save on a lot of resources, render it on an older graphics card. Of course, when you're doing this kind of upscaling, first with high res upscaling two times, and then again with SD upscaling another two times, the resolution is gonna be pretty high. And in my case, that meant that I'm rendering 25 tiles. Now with my fast graphics card, I only used one one second per tile for the 1.5 model and two seconds per tile for the STXL model. But still, it was a very good result and I had a super high resolution by using less resources at the same time. So this Fenris XL model could actually be a super nice entry point for you by using low resolutions, using older hardware and still getting very nice results from that. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thank Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.